Welcome to America's most livable city Please ignore the invisibles with me See Pittsburgh, we built its economy But we still lead the nation in black poverty Welcome to America's most livable city Just ignore the invisibles with me And state your business Cause here, the place you live in Depends on your race and privilege They call it Clipsburg, Pennsylvania But block dick this was, for many years, the most dangerous place in the city of Pittsburgh. One of the uh, local record producers called it um, Clitzburg, Pistolvania. Pistolvania. Um, these houses were used to store guns and to store bodies. What they did was they put holes, because they're all connected, they put holes in the walls interconnecting these buildings so they could go into one door here, and if the police was chasing them, they would go in this door and then run down through the holes in the walls and come out. At one of the further down, in order to escape police, bodies you know bodies were found in here, guns uh, guns were found here. You had mentioned the media, and one of the things that just recently happened, especially in this area, was that you have um, the councilman in this area, uh, Reverend Richie Burgess, brought a uh, very well-known uh, talk show host Rachel Maddow, MSNBC, down here, and he made some, some statements that you said weren't all the, altogether true. Correct? Uh, that's correct. I mean, I understand what, what Councilman Burgess was trying to uh, relate to her as far as the dire need of the community and how messed up it is, but what he saw down here and what I saw down here is two different things. All right, what he saw as far as uh, uh, people with holes in the walls going through the houses, uh, running from cops and hat and bodies inside of the buildings, that's not what I seen. That's not the homewood that I know. That's not the Formosa way I know. People that I know that lived in Formosa took pride in their houses and had them clean. You had some that didn't, you know what I mean? But it wasn't running rampant. People tried to keep their houses clean and live the best possible life that they were afforded to live. They wanted the same thing for their kids as people in Bethel Park and in Squirrel Hill want for their kids. And they reached to try to get those same goals. But the conditions that they lived in and the area they were at weren't conducive to that. You know what I mean? So, there was never nobody running through walls to run from the police or nothing like that. I mean, you, you run through the wall, you're going to be in Miss Jenkins' house or whoever's house is right there. So nobody wasn't doing that, stashing bodies and hiding them in houses. I mean, we're, I grew up in the 90s. I mean, I was in the 90s in Homewood when the gang thing was crazy all over the city. And I don't remember nobody stashing no bodies in houses on Formosa. You know what I mean? I, I don't remember that. You know what I mean? I, I mean, you know... <laughs> Yeah. You, you show me where that happened at, you know? I mean, but but like I said, I understand the point he was trying to get across. But when you're trying to get a point across, you need to come true for him, be wholeheartedly with it, and tell the real story of the people from Homewood. You know what I mean? Like, this community, like, they, they nicknaming it in the paper, the Killing Fields and Baby Iraq and things of that nature. Okay. I see it as y'all using that, as them using that in the media to try to secure funds, to try to maybe do something, but where's those funds at? Right. I mean, Definitely if, not here. Yeah, right? if, 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 if you're saying those things to make it seem better than what it is, and, you, and you're trying to get some funds and make people care, then just show me those funds and show me what you're trying to do with those funds in the community. Right. Every other neighborhood in the city got a revitalization going on. Garfield is new. Right. Uh, East uh, Liberty. East Liberty is now East Side. Right. Yeah, I mean, like, what's going on? Like, can we get some rehabilitation in Homewood, some public funding or something, and help rebuild our community? You know what, I, and that, that's really kind of like the last question that I had, that, you know, seeing this, I mean, here's Pittsburgh that's been named America's most livable city. Um, and basically, we're, we're being told that, um, you know, it's we, we, we beat the recession, you know what I'm saying, that the economy's uh, revitalized in Pittsburgh. I mean, being from Homewood and, and, and us seeing and witnessing this, how do you feel about Pittsburgh being named America's most livable city and this narrative out of downtown and City Hall that Pittsburgh has uh, beat the recession and is a revived economy? Because we, we're not seeing that here. Pittsburgh is the most livable city to live from downtown Pittsburgh to Larmer. And that's where it stopped, to, to East Liberty. That's where it stopped. Past that, when you get to Larmer, Lincoln, Homewood, East Hills, Wilkinsburg, all those places out here on the east side, Hilltop, where I'm at on the east side, I can't say that it's the most livable city. 
How, how is that? Come in my neighborhood and show this. And, sh and, and y'all seeing, y'all taping, come show me how this is the most livable city. I mean, are you looking at the cheap housing? Is it the housing is cheap because they're slum landlords. That's why the housing is so cheap. You know what I mean? Don't nobody, they, they fix it up with shell uh, things that break in a week. You know what I mean? And move people in there thinking they're getting a better life. That's not livable. Uh, jobs, where's the job training programs and, and uh, uh, education programs so people can actually try to get ahead? People say they're out there just come and reach for help. Well, people is reaching their hands out for help and they're getting it slapped back down. I mean, where's the help at? How is it livable? If you're, okay, okay, if you are a young kid uh, that happened to be of a certain race, you know what I mean, and you come from a college and somebody offers you a job to move to Pittsburgh, then you're probably not going to see this part of Pittsburgh. Sure. You're not going to see this. You know what I mean? You're going to see what they sold you on a brochure about Pittsburgh and the ranking that they gave you. But if you're an inner city kid coming from this community and, and happening to go through this all day, uh, walking down the street and not knowing if if six white men is going to jump out the car and beat the hell out of you, right. you know what I mean, or not, while you're trying to go in the house, if, you, if you're not worried about um, uh, some random uh, recklessness happening to you while you're going down the street because somebody is so poor and hungry and so distraught that they're trying to do anything to survive ask them is it the most livable city yeah you know I mean that's what I mean before we get a lot of stones thrown at us in Homewood yeah you know I mean but then everybody want to hide their hand yeah you know I mean you throwing stones and throwing shots at us but then hide your hand yeah you know I mean that's not cool man I mean, if you're going to throw stones and throw shots and take shots at home with how negative and how terrible it is, show us that hand that you threw that stone with and then let us grab it and take us with you. Give us some help out here. You know I mean, you see what we around. I mean, we in dire need out here in this community. I mean, that's what we need out here. Welcome to America's most livable city Please ignore the invisibles with me See Pittsburgh, we built its economy But we still lead the nation in black poverty Welcome to America's most livable city Just ignore the invisibles with me And state your business Cause here, the place you live in Depends on your race and privilege They call it Clipsburg, Pennsylvania But block dictator